Taking question number 7 of exercise 2.2 of inverse trigonometric function. Okay, so the question is like this. Write the uh, following function in the simplest form. So we have to write this value: 10 inverse of square root of 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x in the simplest form. And you know why x is less than pi is given to us because this expression is only valid when x is less than pi. Okay. Now, to solve this question, first of all, we take the given expression. On observing the uh, the function, we see that we have been given tan inverse of square root of one minus cos x upon one plus cos x. So, if we can solve this value, one minus cos x upon one plus cos x, then we could easily uh, find the value of this function in the simplest form. So, for that. I take this formula. Cos 2a is equal to 2 cos square a minus 1, and cos 2a is also equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a. Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to write cos x as equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x by 2 in the numerator, and in the denominator, I'm going to write this as 2 cos square x by 2 minus 1. So by doing this, this 1 and 1 are going to cancel out, and this 1 and 1 are going to cancel out in the denominator. So I'm going to get this as equal to 10 inverse of 2 sine square x by 2 upon 2 cos square x by 2. This 2 2 cancels out. So this is equal to 10 inverse of square root of 10 square x by 2. Okay. So this can be written as 10 inverse of 10 x by 2 by cancelling the square root and square, and we get this as equal to x by 2, which is our required answer. Taking question number eight of exercise 2.2. of the chapter inverse trigonometric functions the question is like this we have to write this function in the simplest form the function is tan inverse of cos x minus sin x upon cos x plus sin x when x is less than pi okay now to solve this question first of all obviously we will have to take this expression and the trick here which is required to solve this question is this that we have to divide the numerator and denominator with cos x like this we have divided each term of the numerator as well as denominator with cos x so i have obtained this as tan inverse of cos x upon cos x minus sin x upon cos x whole upon cos x upon cos x plus sin x upon sin x uh, sin x upon cos x sorry so this is going to become 1 this is going to become 1 this will become 10x this will become 10x So I'm going to obtain this as tan inverse of 1 minus 10x upon 1 plus 10x. Now, this 1 I've written as 10 pi by 4. Okay, and this 10x can be considered as 1 into 10x, and 10 of pi by 4 is equal to 1. So I can always write 10x as 10 by by 4 into 10x. So what benefit I get here is this that this becomes a formula. We know that tan a minus tan b is equal to tan a minus tan b upon one plus tan a tan b. So this can be written as tan inverse of tan of tan pi by four minus x. Okay, you can also see that we can expand this. That tan pi by four uh, minus x is equal to tan pi by four minus tan x upon one plus tan pi by four into tan x. Right. So tan inverse and tan can be cancelled. So I'm going to get this as tan pi by four minus x. So which is my required answer. Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.